Welcome back to New Day. I'm Coy Wire with today's Difference Makers. In 2017, Solomon Thomas was the third overall pick in the NFL draft out of Stanford. A year later, his life was turned upside down when his older sister Ella took her own life. In the aftermath, Solomon says he and his family struggled, even acknowledging that at one point he himself didn't want to be alive. Now he and his family are sharing Ella's story and their own, which the Thomas family says has provided them with the strength to keep moving forward. I just really want people to know that, you know, it's okay to not be okay, that all the feelings that you're feeling throughout the day, whether you're feeling sad, depressed, like anxious, angry, um, you know, these are feelings of the human experience and you're not crazy for feeling them. I definitely also feel like it's amplified being a professional football player. We're taught to be tough. We have to be these warriors, these gladiators, and, you know, we can't show any sign of weaknesses. And you can be human and still be sad and be angry and have these feelings and still be a warrior. Every day I think about Ella. Every day I wake up praying, I thank God for the 24 years that we had with Ella. And I wish we didn't have to go through this pain, but as long as we can help make others not go through this pain and help make the defensive line a difference in other people's lives, then I'm okay with it because I feel that we're turning our tragedy into purpose. I didn't want to do anything anymore. Like I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to go to practice. I didn't want to be alive really you know I was having a lot of suicidal thoughts you know I would you know be at practice thinking about suicide and not wanting to be here anymore. It's part of our our day every day and sometimes you don't want it to be sometimes you just want it to be what it was before but Ella would want us to do this. Ella cared immensely about other people she was such a deep deep Give her of love. Even the night that Ella took her life, she was on the phone trying to help somebody else not take their life. You know, that forever has an impact on me and, and how, you know, you know, I live with my life. In 10 years, I personally have this huge vision for the defensive line where we have these clubs in every school in America where it's a mental health club. And it's like the cool thing to do is to go to your mental health club after school and talk about your mental health. When I see athletes, you know, especially at the top level, like someone like Simone Biles, Naomi Osaka, Kevin Love, when I hear them and, and see them speak about it, you know, it really you know, motivates me, you know, it makes me happy because they're saving so many lives and helping so many athletes and helping so many people. October is National Depression and Mental Health Screening Month. This is very important. If you or someone you know is struggling, please know that you are not alone. Someone is ready to listen. The number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is on the screen or you can text TALK to 741-741. New Day continues after a short break.